creating a box name and color rollout I've created these two boxes and right now I have box number two uh, 002 it by default automatically gives it an incremental name I can uh, highlight that and give it a different name and I'm gonna say uh, something like uh, how about low flat green box and when I'm done I hit enter and you'll notice over in my Explorer over here in my scene Explorer it names it low flat green box but that's not the color green I had in mind I'm gonna pick on this color swash and now I can come in here and choose any other color I'm gonna pick this little deeper color green and I'll say okay and that looks better now I can come over here and pick on on the first box right I'll just come over to my scene explorer and pick on this first box you'll see it's called box one and I'll just call this something like big and tall Oop, misspelled it big and tall box and maybe I'll say gold big and tall gold box and when I'm done I hit enter and that uh, submits the name and you can see over my Explorer I've now renamed it to something that's more appropriate and you might name these things more appropriate like you know chair wheel and caster and chair arm and chair back and things of that nature now I want to make that gold so I'm gonna pick on the color swash I can pick on the 3ds max palette or I can pick on the AutoCAD uh, ACI palette but if I want to add a custom color so I'm gonna come down here and pick custom color and I'm gonna come in here and say oh I want to go with uh, uh, oh use something kind of goldish and I can say add color all right and I'll say okay and now I picked up that custom color and when I go back in here you can see that custom color is saved all right so I can actually now have a series of custom colors I can use throughout uh, my scene so I recommend that you name all of your objects accordingly don't let them be 001 002 etc and then you can make a color um, that works for you uh, and this is very helpful to have an appropriate color and then when you're done you just say okay and we've now uh, placed our name and color rollouts according to a, uh, what we want to do when we create our box standard primitive